savoury mince and mashed potato. There's nothing particularly wrong with them, they're just kind of, well, dull. So today I'm going to show you a different way of presenting them that the entire family will love. Let's make some of my mashed potato beef pies. I'm the One Pot Chef. <laughs> First step to making our mashed potato and beef pies is obviously some mashed potato. So I've taken a kilo and a half of potatoes and I've just peeled and diced them up and boiled them until they're nice and tender. And what we're going to do is I put a bit of butter and a little bit of milk in just to make them nice and smooth. And I'm going to take half of the potato mixture and divide it between these two pie plates. And that's the basis for our potato pies done. So all we need to do is pop these into a hot oven, 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the potato has crisped up on the surface. Then we'll leave them aside to cool. So let's go and work on our beef mixture. First in the saucepan, I've got a little bit of oil and over a medium to high heat, I'm putting in one brown onion. And we're just going to cook this and stir it for about two to three minutes or until the onions have softened. Next to go in is our beef. We've got 500 grams of beef mince or ground beef. And just using the wooden spoon, just break up the beef and mix it through. Next I'm going to stir through some frozen peas, about a cup. I'm going to add in some Worcestershire sauce as well, just a splash. Just going to season this with some salt and some pepper and just stir that until it's nice and cooked and all the meat is brown. Last but not least I'm putting in a tablespoon of corn flour, that's cornstarch to my American friends, and I've just dissolved it in a little bit of water. So we pour that in and stir it through and what that's going to do is going to thicken up all those beautiful meat juices. So we'll have this lovely thick gravy all through it, it's like a beautiful thick meat sauce, perfect. Just divide the meat mixture between the two pie plates. And then just top the pies with the remaining mashed potato. And just using a fork, we're just going to score all over the top. This will help to crisp up the top nicely. And our mashed potato and beef pies are ready to go back into the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes or until the tops are nice and golden and crisp. And then we'll be ready to serve. Here's one of our mashed potato and beef pies out of the oven, looking absolutely gorgeous. So let's serve some of this up. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. We've got two layers of that mashed potato. We've got lovely crispies on the outside. That beautiful beef mixture with the peas, the lovely peas bring a real nice sort of fresh zing to it. Absolutely delicious. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.